Hey guys, um, if you are liking my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share with your friends and fragrance groups. So uh, in this video, we'll be talking about uh, Petra for, by Masque Milano, Petra Ledone, the Masque Milano. Petra was uh, launched to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of Masque Milano. Uh, the perfumer behind this composition is Cecil Zorokin. Uh, when this was released, it was limited to 299 special bottles of 100 ml. Then uh, afterwards, uh, they decided to, to uh, release it in, in their st standard 35 ml bottles. So uh, right now, if you want to, to buy this fragrance, you can buy it uh, with their standard 35 ml bottle. So uh, let's start with the presentation. Petra comes in this massive box. As you can see, there is a Middle Eastern woman here in the on the box. Uh, this one is marketed towards women, but uh, it's totally unisex, leaning uh, a bit more feminine. Uh, this is uh, excellent on both men and women. So uh, here it says uh, she comes in incense and patchouli. Incense and patchouli are the two dominant notes here. You smell those two notes for the whole life of the composition. Here we have the notes. And then the fragrance comes in this wooden box with leather on the top. And it is presented to you this way. Uh, here's a, a letter with a message from the house. As you can see here, number 51 of 299 bottles. Uh, this is velvety and cushy. And look at this bottle, amazing. Frosted glass. Here's the name of the perfumer, Cecil Zorokin. Uh, Cecil Zorokin is known for, mostly for Nishaniani and uh, some other Nishan fragrances. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best perfumers in the game right now. She's amazing, one of my favorites. Here is the logo of Masque Milano. As you can see here, number 51. So um, here we have top notes of pink pepper uh, yellow mandarin and bergamot. Then in the middle we'll have uh, sweet notes, fruity notes, jasmine, sambac, and Moroccan rose. Then in the base we'll have patchouli, ambergris, uh, myrrh, incense, benzoin, and leather. So uh, like I said, uh, and like it says on the box, she comes in incense and patchouli. This composition is dominated by the patchouli and the incense. That's what I get most here. But uh, of course I get uh, also a lot of the other notes, especially the bergamot, the pink pepper, the mandarin, the, the jasmine, the rose, and the fruity notes. And also the ambergris. So uh, uh, this one, uh, it opens, uh, in the opening, you get a lot of the mandarin orange and the bergamot. Then after about uh, 15, 30 minutes, the bergamot and the mandarin, they become weaker, much weaker. Then uh, the fragrance uh, goes to the second phase and you get uh, more of the jasmine and more of the Moroccan rose. Uh, those two notes become more, a little bit more evident, more pronounced. And uh, after about uh, one hour, two hours, uh, the fragrance goes to the to the final stage. 
where it is dominated by patchouli, incense, ambergris, and the fruity notes, mostly. You still get a, a little bit of the other notes, of course, but uh, at the end of the dry down, completely dominated by patchouli, incense, ambergris, and uh, fruity notes. Uh, this fragrance is, uh, is fresh, uh, but at the same time it is warm, a little bit sweet, and incense-y. Uh, the, in the incense here uh, is not your typical incense. Uh, it is a very smooth and pleasing incense, very likable. Uh, I don't see anyone not liking this fragrance. This is very, very pleasing fragrance. It smells delicious, uh, amazing fragrance. This, this smells amazing. Cecile Zorokin has done a fantastic job here. Uh, this one, uh, I think what best describes this is the, the smell here. This, uh, imagine a, uh, a woman like this one on the bottle, a woman or a man from the Middle Eastern royalty wearing these uh, very expensive and luxurious silk robes with a lot of jewels. Expensive, luxurious silk with a lot of jewels, a lot of gold, a lot of richness, a lot of luxurious. That's how this thing smells. This is something that uh, members from the Middle Eastern Riot would wear. Like I said, uh, imagine a lot of silk, a lot of very expensive and fine silk with also a lot of jewels, a lot of gold. That's how this thing smells. It smells classy, extremely luxurious, extremely sophisticated, and very sexy. It smells very, very, very expensive. Uh, the quality of ingredients here is very high. Uh, everything here is so well blended, so balanced. The notes are very, very well balanced. Uh, this, this fragrance is... Uh, way above most of other niche fragrances. That's how this, how good this one is. This is done to perfection. Way above uh, the other fragrance in terms of quality, smell, performance, presentation, everything. This is a superior blend. Like I said, uh, way above most of the other niche fragrances. Um, versatility here is very high. Uh, this can be worn year round, even in the colder weather. But I see this more as a spring summer fragrance. Uh, can be worn uh, during the day, during the night, casually, formally. But uh, like I said, uh, to me, this is mostly spring summer fragrance. Like I said, uh, it is fresh, but at the same time, it is warm. Uh, and a little bit sweet, a little bit sweet, just a little bit sweet and incense -y. But like I said, this can also be worn in the winter time. Extremely versatile. Uh, for a performance, uh, I get a 12 or 14 plus hours longevity with this one. Uh, three, maybe four hours strong projection. Uh, and after that still leaves a, an amazing scent trail. I think this one smells even better in the air than I, it smells on the skin. But it's, it still smells fantastic on the skin. But like I said, uh, it smells a little bit better uh, in the air. Uh, like I said, guys. Very, very, very luxurious. Very rich smelling, very sophisticated. Sexy and classy, delicious smell. This smells delicious, very good. One of the best fragrances in my collection, for sure. This would probably be in a top 10 best fragrances in my collection, for sure. Really like this one, really enjoy it. Uh, like I said, this one's marketed towards women, leans a bit more feminine. 
but uh, totally unisex, leaning a bit more feminine. Uh, both men and women can wear this. We work perfectly on a man or in, on a woman. Pure luxurious. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but uh, another detail on the bottle here, maske. Very cool. So uh, I'll give my final ratings for this fragrance. Uh, for the scent, I'll give this a 9.5. For the performance, 9.5 as well. And uh, versatility, an 8. Like I said, uh, this is extremely versatile. Uh, can be worn year round. Not so suited for the the colder weather, but but it can be easily worn in the colder weather. But uh, I recommend this for the spring and summertime. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and see you on the next one.